This is Terrence Archer, Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions, coming to you today talking about Zillow. Now, Zillow.com has always been in the real estate space, but now they're in the space of actually flipping houses. So if you're in the local area and you're trying to flip houses for your first time, you got some steep competition coming. Zillow started this process a little bit last year, um, and their goal is by 2020 to, to be in 26 markets. And I had a little notes here because I just... I was just so amazed by this, especially if anyone who's in the real estate space know how, how difficult it is, especially when you're getting too close to uh, the top where we're, we're at the market right now. But if you're in the areas of Portland, Charlotte, Raleigh, Nashville, Atlanta, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Orlando, and Houston, Zillow is in those spaces flipping homes. So, and they, and they can outpace you and outbeat you and even offering offers to sometimes buyers because they have an unlimited resource in terms of capital. They make most of their money in terms of uh, advertisement, but they now decided to go into space with another other app, online platforms. So again, if you're in those areas, and I've only coupled, what, what, what the 10 of them that I just mentioned, maybe even three, four, five, six, about eight or nine of them, the goal is getting by 26 by 2020. The good thing right now is that they're losing money hand over fist. Last report, it was they lost seven hundred eleven million dollars the last quarter, um, and it's it's institutional investors, guys. So if they're institutional investor, you're it's really tough to compete against that kind of money and that kind of buying power. Uh, I also found out that they bought a small mortgage company. So even if they do, let's say you're a homeowner and you don't accept Zillow's offer, they're going to push it off to another. Uh, because they have now a online base of realtors that they can push on and hopefully get a commission here. And what I found out is what they're doing is they're charging to make their offers in terms of doing their flips. They're charging 7.5%. Now, I'm not sure how that's given in, uh, at the end for the realtors itself or it's given as a uh, basis, but that's their 7.5% commission kind of base so they can make the offers based on that. I'm not sure the details about that, but that's usually what I read and found out a little bit about. Uh, if you're in those particular areas, I'm going to read them again. These are the ones that I found out. Portland, Charlotte, Raleigh, Nashville, Atlanta, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Orlando, and Houston. You have a stiff competition with Zillow being in that point. I think I did a video in the past about Amazon already in this space, and they're trying to get into the retail uh, aspect for home buyers they, with the, with the quote-unquote making things easier. So if you're an investor, you have to be much more careful, much more um, prestigious in terms of trying to find out and carve your niche. So something else to be mindful about. Uh, again, the only good news right now from this point about this is that they're losing a lot of money. 71, 71.1 million lost last quarter. Um, but as they perfect their models, you just know that that's going to be even more difficult for you to compete. Uh, just be mindful of that. Doesn't mean that you're you're out of the game, but we have to wait for another correction sometimes for you able to get in the space. And when I'm believing, when these large institutions are coming, uh, to even give it more information that hey, we might be hitting to a correction, and that potentially, possibly, could make it a little bit easier for you to compete or even get started. So if this video has been any value to you. Please subscribe, leave some comments, and to my next video, look out for Zillow. Think about things differently because you now you got institutional investors playing in your game of flipping houses or in, and who else would they know in terms of investing next. So just be mindful of that. Subscribe, leave some comments, uh, put the like button. And until my next video, I'm out.